where we've left our cold overnight stop high up in the mountains. Uh, we're headed back down there. Well, what altitude are we at? About 2,000? Yeah, 2,000 yeah. meters. About 2,000 meters, so yeah, quite high. Um, as we go down, you can actually feel it getting warmer. Uh, it was so cold this morning, I actually dug out one of my winter tops. Um, yeah, because been two days ago, we were absolutely sweltering. It's quite bizarre. But anyway, we're now headed towards um, Heripigna, or oh, what's it called? Perpignan. Perpignan. Um, and then we're going to explore the um, south coast of France. No, you would not. I'm starting to see some beautiful autumnal colours now. Very pretty little village. marvellous view. So we're just about to cross um, the border into a place called Livia. What's Livia? Livia is a Spanish exclave in France. It's just a, it's not, we're not that far from the French border but it's part of Spain and it's just, it sits inside France. Um, it's something to do with elections and borders and yeah. So yeah. it's still part of Spain. We were discussing it last inside night France. and I thought it was a bit weird but then you just said well it's only the same as like Gibraltar being in Spain. Um, yeah. So it's not it's actually no, no real difference. There are lots of countries yeah. like it. So we're now just crossing from France back into Spain just for probably about 20 minutes. Martin's happy, he's found his cheese shop. Look at those doors. They are absolutely massive. You don't really get the context on it, but they're about eight foot wide and about 20 foot tall. <laughs> and there's a van. This is the cheese just bought. In town, do you know what it's called? Remember? No, it's cheese. Cheese. Cheese from the fromagerie. It's got mouldy rind on it. And it stinks. Really, it's got mouldy. Of course, it's got mouldy rind on it. It's cheese. It stinks. Probably go as far as that. No there way. were there were plenty of more smelly ones in the shop. <laughs> but they really. Yes. <laughs> I went for the the least smelly. Um, it tastes like. Cheese. Um, <laughs> tastes like gouda, maybe. Really sweaty. No, not really sweaty. Um, just the creaminess of that. Mm. But In better. Enjoy. Better than gouda. 
So this is where we stayed last night. And we're off this morning just down to the Perpignan area and um, to the coast. So there we're parked. Thinking of upgrading to that beast next time, eh? Look at it. Beautiful. words you know i don't do you didn't even words. bother to find out where we were did you? i knew where we were i'm just not going to pronounce Saint it Cyprien. there we go it's a really lovely port um yeah. not port a uh, marina. marina well it's a port as well yeah we're gonna go for a walk along there in a minute it's nice to be down from the mountains yes um the warm i'm just trying to get my finger out of the way and i don't know where, which get... one's it's in the way <laughs> there we go you know where the lens is. <laughs> yeah, but I can't work out which finger was in the way. <laughs> um, yes, we're going to go for a walk in a minute. Um, it's much, much warmer here now. So our forecast is uh, reading about 22. Yeah, um, nice. Bit of a rude awakening this morning, didn't we? We woke up and it was 10 <laughs> degrees in the van. Yeah, it was freezing. It wasn't very warm. So we put the heating on for the first time and went back to bed for an hour. Um, so yeah, that was all. That was all well and good, but yeah. Well, some now... of us had to take the dog out. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're made of tough stuff. Uh, yeah, but then you both got back in my warm bed and made me cold. Oh, yours. <laughs> Just say it was ten in the van. It was a lot colder outside. Yeah. Yeah, it's been nice to be up in the mountains and the views have been beautiful, but I must admit it's really nice to be back down at uh, a water level again and there's uh, lots of palm trees and yeah. cactus and beautiful blue skies and yeah, that yeah, that's nice more today. me. It's beautiful. It's going to be even nicer tomorrow. So uh, yeah, oh, really? we'll, uh, we'll take you for a walk around with us. place is fabulous we've just walked past walked along the marina and walked past all the bars and restaurants and um, we've now just come out to the beach park and um, found some grass but he's not been on grass for a good few days so she's having a good sniff around the grass on our lead and we're just sat here watching the world go by it's absolutely wonderful you only come to places like this when you're on holiday it just feels a little bit strange that we're not really on holiday, but we're in a holiday resort. And it's absolutely wonderful. Might just have to stop for a cheeky little drink on the way back. still in the same location as yesterday we came for our nice walk to see what was going on see if it was a bit more lively than yesterday because obviously the whole of france closes down on a sunday however it's even quieter nothing's open a few people just milling about having a walk but 
the shops, restaurants are pretty much all closed. There's probably a couple of ice cream shops open and that's about it. Happy days. Good morning. morning. Um, welcome back. So after a fairly restful day yesterday and we obviously caught a little bit of sun, um, we're moving off today. So we need to lock down and... Um, use the surfaces now we've had a, a few questions about sort of walking what locking down and using services mean so we're going to go through that with you today um locking down just basically just means clearing the decks um but stay with us and i'll show you what's involved This is uh, Bailey's bed set up. So you've got the strong black strap that goes all across the bed, attached to D-rings either side. And then a waterproof cover in case you dribbles or sick or wheeze or anything whilst you're traveling. Also keeps the duvet from getting all hairy. Um, and then she's got her lovely V cushion and the, hot, the strap there that hangs onto her harness so she can snuggle up. Washing day today. Got loads of washing down there to do and I'm going to give our duvet a wash. So this is the spare duvet. Blinds open one side, we keep one side closed just um, for purposes of privacy using the toilet and um, stop the boo getting too much sun. Legs down. Inflate the airbags. This is what we call the services area. You see a big rain there that's where we empty the grey waste and Martin will pull up over the top of that it's very good at knowing positioning of the van so he will now come round this little magic tool and open the drain open we've the got tank. his little key to open the tank and then right, you'll see the water I've got my nail out of the way you'll see the water drain out into the drain so this is just um shower water washing up water hand washing water that's what we refer to as gray waste but it always stinks i never know why it stinks so bad even after a day it really pongs this is a water hose so we've got fresh clean water here put in the tank And then we'll fill up our water bottle separately. We don't tend to drink straight from the tank just because it's really hard to make sure the tank stays clean. So we tend to just use our drinking water from big five litre bottles. Well, that way we don't need to sterilise the tank. That's it. Because we use it, because we use it. Fill it up and empty it off. You probably don't need to sterilise it. You probably don't. Right, that just goes in there. 
and then there's a sensor on the inside that I can press that will tell us how much percentage of water is in the tank. Uh, we once had a little flood so we don't tend to fill it up more than 75% particularly in France it's no problem uh, because we can get access to water very easily every day unlike uh, in the UK you can only really get access to water when we stay on campsites. This is the lovely bit, this is the black waste, um, which is the worst job of all. Uh, if I did camper, if I did van life on my own, I'm really not sure I could cope with this bit. Uh, but Martin's ever so good. And this is the toilet cassette. Well, that was. There's someone <laughs> in the recycling. Okay. It's all nicely contained. that up, drops lid down and I'm not standing too close because it always stinks to high heaven and just pours it down the drain and there's a little tap on the left hand side where you can just rinse out and get rid of anything that you didn't get rid of first time round. Bloody stinks. <laughs> Lots of sites of security controlled so once you pay your money to get in you get given a code which you can use to uh, exit when you exit you just need to press the button to let them know if you're coming back if you're exiting permanently so martin's just coming across i will put the key in the keypad the barrier will lift and then we'll be off so today's installment of drama we uh, <laughs> just went to leave the um the air that we're in now we're staying an extra night and it's usually absolutely no problem just to um pay an extra night so you, when you come in you say how long you're staying you pay and then you just leave on exit it gives you a code um you want to stay an extra night you get to the barrier and you just type in the extra that you stayed yeah. and then it just lets you out no problem so tried to pay the extra and put all the details in put in our little unique code so it knew who we were um credit card in pin code accepted perfect card declined <laughs> now the card that we use mm. here is a Revolut card so we put money on account and it saves us all um, uh, transaction fees uh, for foreign currency um, so I knew there was plenty of money on there and I yeah. checked that I checked with the online app that there wasn't a problem so then uh, we use Martin's bank card we use my bank card still nothing uh, fortunately a French lady came along and tried to help us she wasn't a lot of use but then we um phoned the well, she was a good translator. great translator so we had to phone the the help number and the guy didn't speak any english so she was amazing at translating turns out that there is no internet which is particularly rubbish when you're someone like this so we have had to reverse back in the car park and he's going to come and physically open the barrier for us and um yeah give us a free night there's nothing else he can do if the car can't take payment so perfect amazing um yeah. yeah it just means that we've probably lost about an hour um but hey we've saved 10 euros 50. yeah so yeah there we go free night. maybe well yeah, maybe yeah <laughs> maybe you might decide to take cash <laughs> trying to help us it's the system i think and it's gonna let us out okay, here we go oh, we're free Day of chores today. Alton's gone into into Marche to get some shopping. We've just put the washing in. We've taken up both machines there. Oops, but uh, yeah, it's been near three weeks, so we've got quite a lot to wash. And um, yeah, I'm sitting in the van and do some work.
So here we are, uh, almost mid-October, well out of season, and we've pulled up in this massive, massive air, and it's so busy. We're really surprised at how busy it is. I mean, I'm sure we can get in, there's about half a hundred and fifty spaces here. But uh, also, we're just really surprised at just how busy it is. to find an okay-ish pitch but it's right on the banks of yet another absolutely huge marina um, it's half past six in the evening and even though the site is really busy there's just nobody around it's fabulous I'm just gonna sit here and just watch the water a little while and there's some massive fish in there and some oysters on the rocks and chill out for a little bit and then go back for some dinner. much much cooler and the, the clouds come over which is actually quite nice the sea is beautiful that's daddy go fish daddy go get him good girl Chilling in the van with a drink, watching the sun go down. Perfect. This is the same sunset about 10 minutes later. Just <coughs> over here. changes our view has um, yeah, become this oh the joy time to move on flamingos loads of them oh. So today we are, we've just stopped actually at a canal um, just to go and do a bit of shopping, pharmacy and bakery to get some bits um, or I need to pop out and clean the windscreen but we're off to the Camargue area um, so see if we can see some flamingos and horses More flamingos. and marshland and that kind of stuff so uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we see. 
<laughs> Love it. Nice lunchtime stop by a canal. Martin brings back warm bread from the bakery. You just have to tuck in. It's very rarely is it actually warm. Mm -hmm. Flamingos! More flamingos! Not quite sure what's going on with fuel at the moment, no. but um, we tried a couple of fuel stations the other day without success. We've tried, I think there's another three today that are all closed and now we're queuing. I don't know if there's something going on with fuel in France or not, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have success with this one. If not, there is another one not too far down the road, but uh, yeah, we've got, well, the lights on, we've got less than a quarter of a tank. So um, yeah, don't really want to be staying here, waiting for the fuel tankers to arrive, but um, yeah, no, we yeah, should be all right. Yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, there is an air down the road. I did notice if we drove past, yeah. but it's not the best of places. It's not, but if we have to bed in for a couple of days, yeah, it's absolutely. Not the got the end of the world, is it? No. Flamingos will wait for us. So that's us all fueled up. Uh, turns out that there is a fuel issue going on. Um, six of the seven refineries have been blockaded through to strikes because French, that is. one of the um <laughs> behave itself they love a good strike <laughs> um so hopefully they'll come to a compromise and it'll get called off otherwise yeah we might have to slow down our trip a bit um yeah whatever if we can't get back within our Schengen days then not a lot we can do really Good morning. So we've moved off from our um, overnight spot um, and today we're in search of the flamingos. Just driven a little way down the road and there's a viewing platform. We think there are some flamingos in the lake. So we're going to go and have a look. We're just going to give our little girl her dinner or breakfast um, and then go and have an explore. Typically French lunch, baguette, bread, butter. I've got this uh, stinky 
goat brie. My God, does it stink. You don't like it, do you, dear? It is disgusting. What's the matter with it? It is I just really like, like it. It smells like stale baby sick. Really? Bleh. It tastes like stale baby sick. <laughs> <laughs> Notice it says Depuis 1895, since 1895. No wonder it stinks. It may have been, it may have been in that box that long. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Uh, join us next week as we continue our journey east along the south coast of France towards Provence, heading towards Saint-Tropez. Until next time, thanks very much. Goodbye.